What's up guys, I'm back with another spawn tube tutorial for Modern Warfare 3. This time we're going to be checking out the other Season 2 map, that being Departures. And just like Vista, this map is also really great for tubing. And I know that some of you guys already have the lineups figured out, but I'm still going to be showing you guys the spots that I normally use and the way that I lined up these shots, whether or not they're the same way that you guys do them. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. Starting things off on the attacking side, I have three spots to show you. These will cover the three most common routes that the defenders take at the beginning of each round. I'm going to start off by showing you how to tube the middle pathway that's just to the left of the metal detectors. For this spot, what you're going to do is you're going to run forward, and as soon as you run past these papers on the floor, you're going to look up towards this part of the ceiling, and you're going to notice that there's two sections of it, one dark section and one lighter section. You're going to aim right in the middle of both of those sections right here where this line is. So as you are running forward is when you want to shoot your tubes. And I say as you're running forward because this will give the tubes a little bit of forward momentum, which is what you want to get potentially more enemies before they start to split off in different directions. So again, right at the start, you're going to run forward right as you walk past these folders on the floor, look up towards this part of the ceiling and then shoot your tubes as you are walking forward, like so. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to tube the enemies that avoid running down the middle path by running along the right side of the metal detectors. For this spot, you're going to again run straight forward. This time, you're going to stand on top of the suitcase and you're going to crouch and wedge yourself in the corner. You're going to look up towards this part of the ceiling and you see where the dark section and the light sections touch each other. I'm going to aim right at the corner of that part of the ceiling right there and fire away. And for this last spot, I'm going to be showing you how to tube the enemies that run to the left out of their spawn and are heading down these stairs that lead to the A-bomb. For this spot, what you're going to do is you're going to turn around and wedge yourself in this corner next to this suitcase right here. You're going to look up towards this part of the window, specifically this middle section. You're going to aim right above the bottom part of that window, right above the middle. So your dot should be right there. And then once you have this lined up, two things. One, you want to give it a couple of seconds because it does take the enemies roughly seven to eight seconds before they actually make it to the bottom of the stairs behind A-bomb. The other thing is that you want to execute the moonwalk method, which again, if you don't know, is where you run a few steps forward, you start walking backward and you shoot your tube as you're walking backward and you just repeat this motion with each tube that you shoot. Now switching over to the defending side, I'm going to have four spots to show you which will cover the most common routes that the attackers take at the beginning of each round. I'm going to start off by showing you two spots at the same time because you can use the 3 for 3 method with these spots. The first one is going to be how to tube the enemies that are running right in front of Burger Town down middle. And the other tube is going to be how to get the enemies that are running amongst the outside by the cars going to A-bomb. But I'm going to start off by showing you how to do the Burger Town spot first. So what you're going to do for both of these spots is you're going to run forward and you're going to wedge yourself to the left of this desk. You're going to look towards this part of the windows. It's going to be the last window that you see in the distance. You're going to look towards that and you want your bottom crosshair to be right above the sign like so. And then you're going to shoot your first three tubes. Now from the same spot I'm going to show you how to tube the drop off area on the outside of the map. 
So with the other half of your tubes, you're going to crouch and then you want to bring up your crosshairs again. So to do this, you're going to switch to your primary, switch back to your RGO, and now your crosshairs are back. What you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom right crosshair. You want to line this up just above the left edge of this light. And let me preface this by saying this spot isn't going to hit 100% of the time because it does require you to be pixel perfect damn near in order for this to actually slip through the bars of the windows you basically have to thread the needle for this to actually work but when you do get it to work it is a very effective way to actually stop enemies from running to air on the outside but again you're going to crouch line up your crosshairs just like this and pray to god that you can get your tubes to thread the needle For the next spot, I'm going to be showing you how to tube the enemies that run through the alley on the left side, heading towards the escalators next to the bridge. For this spot, you're going to run over to the left side right here. You're going to wedge yourself next to this computer stand. And then with your bottom crosshairs, you want to line this up right in the center of this triangular opening in the ceiling. And then you want to execute the moonwalk method. So you're going to immediately walk backwards and shoot your tube and then come back forward and then just repeat this process for each tube. So it's going to look like this. And for the last spot, this will be how to tube the enemies that immediately run up the stairs toward the coffee shop and are attempting to cross the bridge running to B. For this spot, you're going to again run over to this left side. This time, you're going to stand on top of the benches like so. You're going to aim your center dot right at the corner of this section of the ceiling and just fire away. And that's going to be the end of this tutorial. You guys already know what to do. If you found this helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, you like these types of videos, you want to see more, consider subscribing to this channel. I do post tubing content pretty regularly on here and my TikTok, which you should also follow me on. And you can join my Discord server. A link to that will be in the description below. You can find other tubers like myself to get into a game with to play some hardcore search together. We would love to have you. That's that, I'm going to sign off here, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Also, if you want, leave a comment down below if there's a specific map you would like to see next that I haven't done yet. But other than that, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.